As the Navy looks to evolve further into a force that relies more and more on many fleets of uncrewed vehicles, the payloads and missions of those vessels are also developing quickly. Trying to meet the needs of the surface fleet with emerging options, Northrop Grumman has been working on a pair of systems called Scion and Helix, which it says can extend the range and capabilities of UUV and UAV communications and electronic warfare payloads. Looking for more advanced drones to contest the ocean, sometimes autonomously, and outdo an opponent? Here's more from Northrop on their developing systems. We're here at the Surface Navy Symposium in Crystal City, Virginia, just outside of Washington, D.C. I'm here with Matt O'Driscoll at the Northrop Grumman booth. Matt, tell us about the Scion. Scion is a small payload. It uses a Northrop Grumman transceiver that does a 0 to 18 gigahertz RF frequency detection. Its two major components on the mast of the USV are four antennas. They're just listening for radio frequencies. Those detections are passed down to a below decks uh, transceiver. That's the Northrop Grumman piece. And then on the strength of the signal, like wh which antenna it's coming in on, then it determines the line of bearing to the target. So what would the Scion look like in practice in the field? One of the um, concept of operations for this payload is maritime domain awareness. So you could install the EW payload on USVs and send them into hostile waters where you wouldn't want uh, crewed vessels to be. And they can passively listen and detect uh, vessel traffic in the area and report that back to the fleet. Another uh, potential use is for intercept. So uh, on the first case, maritime domain awareness, they would be installed on slower vessels, maybe battery and solar operated. Um, that would be slow, but could stay in theater for a long time period. With the intercept concept, after they detect a um, potential a vessel of interest, they would actually speed off, and that would be like the case of the Martek T-38, a faster USV. It could actually speed off, intercept the, uh, the vessel that, that is um, broadcasting its radar, for instance, and then get more, collect more data on it. So video and images, um, other comms traffic, uh, to give a better picture of, well, what, what vessel was detected and is it who we think it is. Once it's been intercepted, then there's other payloads with Northrop Grumman technology that could be, you know, perhaps electronic attack uh, that's not just passive listening or even kinetic payloads um, with a human in the loop. And I understand that there might be some cross-service interest in the Scion. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Right, so the initially we developed this payload for use on small USVs. And what we have found in the last few months is other um, branches of service with small crewed vessels are also interested in the capability. So for instance, the Collaborative Combat Craft Medium, CCM, uh, that Special Ops uses, they have expressed potential interest in having an EW payload on their, their vessel. Also, smaller Coast Guard cutters like the FRC, they can't handle the large payload of you know larger EW systems. So these small uh, payloads give them the capability of um, electronic warfare, uh, but with a smaller cost and smaller um, space weight and power. Great, well, Matt, thank you so much for joining us. All right, thank you.